You have to like each other, but we have a 430 reservation at Applebee's. Applebee's has cemented itself as a staple American restaurant chain. Despite great success, some things have been kept under wraps. Here are the top 10 secrets that Applebee's does not want you to know. The salads are not as healthy as they appear. Hey, is that healthy food? Numerous fast food and chain restaurants have been beginning to add items like salads and vegetables to cater to trends and provide healthier alternatives for people looking to eat lighter without breaking the bank. However, when looking at the nutritional information for entree salads at Applebee's, five out of their seven salad options contained over a thousand calories, a whopping amount that far surpasses a good deal of items like sandwiches and burgers. Using the example of the oriental chicken salad, we can see that it contains 1,450 calories and almost 2,200 milligrams of sodium. This, unfortunately, is a normal occurrence for many fast food and chain restaurant salads. Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? Though they misleadingly look like a healthy option, they can be up there with some of the worst items on the menu health-wise. The grilled chicken salads are also not much better in this regard, also containing quite a high amount of calories. The misleading salads mean that if you're trying to cut back on your calories, they definitely aren't your best option, and you might be better off going with something else on the menu. A considerable amount of customers enjoy the salads immensely despite this, so they may be a delectable treat to go for if you don't mind indulging. But if you're looking for a healthier option, you should steer clear of these salad options. Some items are actually microwaved. Oh, look, a microwave pizza! Although all chain restaurants love to present their food as being fresh and not frozen and microwaved, this is not always the case entirely. Back in 2019, it was reported that Applebee's was, in fact, microwaving some of their food. The restaurant did confirm that they microwave certain items, such as dips and dessert items, such as the molten lava cake. The employee who shared the information did point out that none of the main course meals were microwaved and were prepared fresh as advertised. It's a common myth that is often perpetuated that microwaving food zaps its nutrients from it. In reality, cooking in any way takes out some nutrients, but microwaving actually preserves nutrients in countless foods, and reducing cooking time and using less water when cooking can also help with this. Using the correct setting on the microwave can make a considerable difference indeed. Nearly all containers are safe for microwaving as well, with labels being the best way to check. Glass containers are also available to use if no plastic ones are suitable. There are numerous different possibilities for cooking with microwaves, and contrary to another popular myth, microwave ovens are completely safe to use for cooking. Given these facts, while it's beneficial to know that certain items at Applebee's are microwaved, it's not the end of the world when it comes to the quality of the food. You can replicate some menu items at home. Better cough up that secret formula or else! Much like Mr. Krabs and his Krabby Patty secret formula, many restaurants try their best to keep their own recipes close to the vest so that customers will keep returning to them for a fix of their favorite dish or meal. However, with a little bit of creativity, ingenuity, and online research, any amateur chefs can now recreate their favorite meals at home. In 2012, there was a blog online that kept track of different Applebee's menu items and how to prepare them. Though the blog has since been taken down, several websites remain up that contain numerous copycat recipes based on those previously mentioned Applebee's items. Items like the honey barbecue boneless wings, cedar salmon with maple mustard, and the spinach and artichoke dip are all faithfully recreated with recipes for you to follow at home. This way, you can bring the iconic and unique Southwest flavor of Applebee's to your own kitchen and save a ton of money in the process. With numerous entrees, drinks, and desserts all having recipes online, it provides us with a great opportunity to obtain a taste of Applebee's at home. The chain lost part of its menu. I'm sorry, we don't serve those anymore. The events of the last few years have affected many businesses and restaurants a tremendous amount, with a large number of local spots sadly closing down permanently due to the hardship that they faced during the global health crisis. Though Applebee's stayed relatively unaffected, 
ended when it came to locations shutting down, they were forced to remove a significant portion of their menu to cut down on costs. Applebee's permanently removed 40% of menu items from the menu, including an abundant amount of fan favorites, including barbecue brisket tacos, sweet and savory grilled chicken, clam chowder, loaded potato soup, a brunch burger, and the chain's triple bacon burger. While discussing the changes in an interview, Applebee's president, John Kavinsky, said they were going to keep the menu lean, cutting back about 60 menu items. The menu is slightly updated. Though this started as a temporary measure, it later became permanent. Like countless other chain restaurants, Applebee's experienced considerable losses in sales, dropping by 22% in recent years. Although a multitude of menu items are now gone, Applebee's has brought back various items on a rotating basis, much like the Cheesecake Factory does. You may be obligated to kiss your favorite item goodbye for now, but there's still hope it might return one day. It's easier than you think to get a refund. This is not the best breakfast I ever ate, and I'd like my money back. Now, the bulk of businesses and restaurants would like to avoid giving customers refunds and losing money on their services and products. This has been a massive concern for numerous businesses and something that they sadly still must deal with. According to former Applebee's employees, at various locations, this is very easy to do. In an online post, a former employee responded to a question asking if servers were able to remove the cost of their meal if they were unsatisfied. The employee responded, saying that at their store, the discount percentage is pretty reasonable and they can afford to discount a fair amount of meals. And they offered to give us a discount. Though this is tough for many restaurants at the moment, it's great to know that there is a way to receive a refund if you were given the wrong items or there was something wrong with your order. Though you shouldn't abuse this and take advantage of employees, it is a clever way of amending possible mistakes that might happen to your meal without getting any employees in trouble or putting them in danger of being fired. Applebee's has given up on trying to attract millennials. Well, you know us millennials, we're always exaggerating. Every establishment wants to attract as many customers as possible from a variety of different demographics, from boomers to Gen Z. Everyone is fair game when it comes to target demographics for restaurants. Back in 2017, the Chicago Tribune reported that Applebee's president, John Kavinsky, was tracking back on attempts to appeal to a newer and younger demographic, saying that, in retrospect, they may have tried too hard hard to attract new guests. Changes made as a result of this reinvestigation included scrapping new and updated decor, removing a large number of new menu items and bringing back old ones, as well as adding late-night all-you-can-eat specials and two-for-$20 deals. By doing this, Applebee's hopes to return to the roots of their business and what gained them their original fans and customers in the first place. As a part of this strategy, it was necessary for a multitude of underperforming locations to close down. Front. It looks like they're closed. It's yet to be seen if reversing this strategy made the situation any better for Applebee's, as the global situation changed soon after, leading to even more cutbacks for stores. However, longtime fans of the chain will be happy to know that the majority of iconic menu items are there to stay. Club Applebee's. Are you nuts? Let's have some fun! Applebee's is known for being a family-friendly chain that stays far away from any controversy. However, according to news articles, there is an event that took place in some locations called Club Apple, which began with some locations staying open later than usual. While many locations still kept things family-friendly, with fun activities like karaoke, some others, however, took the event in a different direction. Some locations in Florida ventured in a more adult direction, featuring suggestive dancers, loud music, and more of an adult club atmosphere than a family-friendly late-night pub. In those Florida locations, according to reports, parties got quite out of hand with excessive drinking and various other late-night and decidedly unfamily-friendly activities taking place. Though these activities would be pretty run-of-the-mill for your average downtown bar on a Friday night, it's quite strange behavior for an Applebee's restaurant and something that they definitely would rather have the public not be aware of at all. If you do want to take a trip to Club Applebee's, be prepared for what you might see there.
A lawsuit over failing to follow wage laws. This company is a rat! Restaurant wages for many workers are sadly very low and difficult to live on for the countless people who rely on that as their only stream of income. In 2017, a judge approved a class action lawsuit against 23 Applebee's locations, filed on behalf of employees in Kentucky, Ohio, Virginia, and West Virginia. It began with a woman named April Hill, a worker in West Virginia, who claimed that they were paid a standard wage as low as $4.25 cents an hour, even when performing tasks that they were not being tipped for. These tasks included assignments like cleaning the parking lot, where they are unable to receive any tips that would help them with their basic needs and necessities. This is a regretful and unfortunate reality, as numerous workers like April work incredibly hard for little pay. Applebee's previously found itself in hot water regarding a similar issue in 2012, when the Supreme Court turned down Applebee's request to appeal a lawsuit on behalf of 5,500 servers and bartenders, claiming that much of their work did not make them entitled to their share of the tips, and they would only be eligible to receive the minimum wage for their work. This was promptly dismissed by the court, who sided in favor of the bartenders and servers. They were sued over the music they use. Oh, it's not free, it's $2.99. There have been numerous music industry lawsuits over the years, from George Harrison for My Sweet Lord to Richard Ashcroft and the Rolling Stones for Bittersweet Symphony. But did you know that there was a lawsuit involving music at Applebee's? In 2017, Applebee's was sued by Sony Music, who claimed that they used the songs Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution by ACDC and Gonna Make You Sweat, Everybody Dance Now by CNC Music Factory in commercials without obtaining the proper license. Licenses. Sony Music claimed that marketing workers from Applebee's reached out to them and asked for quotes on prices for the songs that they wanted to use. These prices were quite high, clocking in at $250,000 for ACDC and $50,000 for CNC Music Factory. You should pay for it! I'm not paying for that! When Applebee's did not comply with the terms of the deal, Sony had no choice but to sue. The world of music licensing and publishing can be a complex and tricky field to navigate, but it's vital that brands are aware of the music they use and the companies that own them to avoid lawsuits such as this one. Serving alcohol to underage people. How are you? underage drinking. Back in 2012, Tennessee police were called to an Applebee's after a server accidentally served an alcoholic root beer drink to three kids aged 9, 10, and 11. Though this was an innocent mistake by the server who thought the drink was non-alcoholic, the nine-year-old was swiftly taken to the hospital for stomach pains, but thankfully was all right in the end. This sadly happened with a much sadder ending in another incident that same year. According to the Tampa Bay Times, alcohol was served at a local Applebee's to a young man named Patrick Osmond and his friends, even though they were underage. When's your birthday? 22nd of February. What year? Every year. Tragically, Patrick was involved in a car accident while driving impaired, which left Patrick with limited strength in his arms and complete paralysis in his legs. The family of Patrick and Applebee's settled out of court for an undisclosed amount of money. The safety of the customers and employees should always be the number one priority of an establishment, a lesson learned from this tragic incident. Stick around, we've got more just for you, so here are some more awesome some videos to check out.